hey everyone i hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel so in this one we are going to look at how we can make objects follow the player in unreal using blueprints so here as you can see i have this drone and when i start the game it follows the player and also adjusts its location and rotation based on the position of the player you can use this for your enemies and you can also use this for your companions and this has some use cases in different scenarios and different projects so let's jump right in and see how we can set this up all right here i have imported this drone static mesh from Sketchfab and I want to work on this but if you don't have an object to work with you can just use a simple sphere and follow along with the tutorial these are the textures these are the materials and I'm going to make this my main object and apply the logic to this so the first thing we need is to create a blueprint and here we can go with an actor because we are not going to possess the blueprint we just want to have some basic logic but you can also go with pawn and character as well so let's go with actor name it bp drone and open it up so here the first thing we need to do is to add our drone static mesh so here i'm going to add a static mesh component and for this I'm going to use my drone let's also make it bigger for example let's double up the scale and I want to have a light here to make it cooler so I'm going to add a sphere put it here and assign a light material to it to make it look cool great and now let's put it in the level and see how it looks and yeah great and now let's make the logic so here if i play the game as you can see it's in its place and also i am working with my a character that I made myself but you can also work with a simple first person template as well it doesn't matter which character you are going to work with so here now let's go to our drone go to our event graph and create the logic the first thing we need to do is to access our character to be able to know its location so here I'm going to cast to my character which is called bp first person survival character again if you are working with a simple first person or even third person template you need to cast to your character here for the object get player character and then here i'm going to promote this to a variable so i can use it easier in the other parts of the code so here promote to a variable and now i have access to my first person character as a variable this reference will be used in our logic in order to check you can grab this and for example get actor location this gives us the location of our first person character and we can print it on an event tick so here print string plug it in and now here as you can see it's printing the location of our character here great now the next thing we need to do is to set the location of our drone based on some calculations we need to do some vector calculations based on the current location of the drone and the current location of 
the first person character we need to create a vector and with its direction and its length we are able to move the drone as we want so the function we need to work with is this it's set actor location and here as you can see it has a location value and this will be the new location of our actor here we need to calculate the new location of the actor based on the placement of our current drone and the first person character so here i'm going to grab my first person character get its location and i also need the location of the drone as well so here right click get actor location and for this the target is self now i need to subtract the location of our character from our drone so here drag of a wire search for subtract and subtract these together now we have a vector that points from the drone to our character this is a vector and we need to normalize it so the length of the vector is one so here drag of a wire normalize keep the tolerance on this and now we have a vector with one unit of length this gives us the direction of the movement great and now we need to add this vector to the current location of our drone so again we are going to get actor location and add our vector to this so hit plus add them together and this is the new location of the drone here on event tick we are setting the actor location based on these calculation the final thing we need to do is to adjust the speed of the movement so this is going to be one unit of length and now if i compile and play you can see that it's moving towards us but it's very slow so we need to make this vector a little bit bigger so i'm going to multiply this by a value let's also turn these vectors into a float and now for example if i go with six it will move faster here as you can see it's moving much faster maybe we can make it even more so for example 10 and now as you can see it's chasing us like this now we need to fix a couple of things first of all i don't want it to go through the ground like this i want it to keep a minimum height and not go through the ground so let's go to our drone and here for our actor location we can split these pins so we have access to x y and z separately and also this for the x and y we don't need to change anything but here for the z i wanna have a clamp so i'm able to control the z value in a range so here drag of a wire search for float clamp and here define a minimum and maximum value for our z so here the minimum for example can be six meters 600 centimeters and the max can be 50 meters for example and now if i compile and play you can see that it's keeping its height and it's not going to the ground anymore 
Great, the next thing we need to do is to adjust its rotation so it's looking at us when it's going toward the character. Okay, so here we need to set actor rotation after we are done with setting its location. So here drag of aware, set actor rotation. And now we need to work on finding our new rotation. The good news is that there is a node in Unreal that does the job for us, so we don't need to calculate it ourselves. Here, right click and search for find look at rotation. This is exactly what we need. We need a start, we need a target, and with this, it calculates the new rotation of the object. So the start is our current location. So again, get actor location for our drone and the target is the location of the first person character. So here we can use this or we can make it again. So here drag the reference, get the reference and now get its location. Plug it in and now this is our new rotation. Now here as you can see it's locked on our character and the rotation is working good as well. Another cool thing we can do is to use an R interp to function. Using this we can make the rotation smoother and it makes things look cooler. So here drag for R interp to and now we need the current and the target. The target is what we have and the current is the current rotation of the drone. So get actor rotation, plug it in. For the speed, define a value, for example, three. And for the delta time, we need the value of our event tick. We can drag this in like this, or if the line makes it look like a spaghetti, you can drag off a wire, promote this to a variable like this, and then grab the variable and plug it in. Now, if I compile and play, nothing works because we did not connect to our function. So let's plug this in and now it should work. Now here, as you can see, we have a small delay in the rotation, which makes it look cooler. Now the next problem is that it never stops and it's going to stick to the character if you don't move. So it will look something like this, which is very weird and we need to define a range which stops the movement of the drone. So let's go back to our logic and see what we can do for that. Here, before we set the location of the actor, we can define a branch. So here, right over there, search for branch. And here the condition is the distance between the character and the drone. So here I'm going to, again, get the actor location then get the character location then subtract these two values to have a vector then I'm going to access the length of this vector so I'm going to drag off a wire search for vector length and this is the distance between the two actors. 
we want to make these move only if this is bigger or equal to for example 6 meters so if the length is bigger than 6 meters then this is true and we set the actual location and do the other stuff but if it's not for example if it's 5 meters then nothing will happen and we are not going to set the location of the actor but we still need to adjust the rotation so for the faults i'm going to connect it to our set actor rotation function now if i compile and play you can see it stops when it hits six meters This is a very small value, so let's bump it up. For example, let's make it 18. I'm going to multiply it by 3. And now, as you can see, it stops like this. Yeah, and that's it for this tutorial. This is how you can make objects follow another object in Unreal. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.